I'm Daniel Nussbaum with Z-Man Fishing Products, and I wanted to talk today about care and storage of Elastec soft plastics. Now, we've talked a lot in the past about how to rig Elastec and how to fish Elastec, but we haven't really talked about how you need to store and handle Elastec. It's important to realize that Elastec is a completely different material than regular soft plastics. It's definitely got its advantages. It's a lot more durable, it's softer than regular soft plastic baits, but at the same time, it's got its own quirks and you have to handle it a little bit differently. Because Elastec is a completely different material chemically, it can react with certain substances. And one of those things that it can react with is the plasticizer that's used in a PVC bait. Now, I think everybody is familiar with PVC, the same material that you make pipes out of, and you know how hard those pipes are. Well, you have to juice that material with some serious plasticizers to make it soft enough to fish with. And it's those plasticizers that react with our Elastec material. The most important thing about storing Elastec is to keep it separate from other plastic baits. We actually include a little note on the back of our packaging, a cautionary note, that recommends that you store Elastec separate from all other plastic baits. It's easy to miss, but that's the most important thing you have to remember. Our first recommendation is to store Elastec products in their original packaging. That way you can be sure that you're keeping them away from other soft plastic baits. We just recommend keeping them completely separate. What I like to do is get a storage box like this and store all the individual bags and different color baits inside the box so they're at your fingertips. Now a lot of people want to use a typical utility box or tackle tray to store their plastics and we recommend against this. Those boxes are actually made of PVC, the same material that other soft baits are made of. And Elastec again can react with those PVC materials. I wanted to show you today an example of what can happen if you store Elastec baits in one of these trays. And you can see these baits have been in this tray for about uh, two or three years and the tray is completely warped. Um, you know, it no longer can open and close. The baits are fine, but it's essentially destroyed this box. So if you do want to use a utility tray like that, you're going to have to look outside of the, what you'll normally see offered at your fishing tackle retailers. This is one that I would recommend right here. It's made by a company, Flambeau. You can order this off their website. It's their K-Series box. It sells for about 7 or $8, and it's made of a very hard, durable, and clear material, and it uh, holds up really well, and our baits are not affected by it at all. We do recommend keeping the baits separately. Most colors don't really affect each other, but one color can bleed onto another color in some cases due to the pigments and dyes that we have to use with our Elastec material. So it can be affected by extreme heat. Now I say extreme heat because under normal conditions, Elastec won't melt. But you want to be a little bit careful. You don't want to keep this box or a bag of Elastec baits out in the direct sunlight, especially in the summer. Now personally, I store my baits in my boat outside year round, inside a tackle locker out of the sun here in South Carolina where it gets pretty hot. Just be sure to keep them preferably in their original packaging, away from other soft baits, away from your typical bait storage containers and in a shaded, preferably cool place. And you shouldn't have any issues. This is Elastec. This is Elastec on PVC. Any questions?